and I want to look at within Trumbull Business Centre is a very common requirement that engineers have, whereby they want to take data that's in a local system and transform it into the site grid. And we can do that using the CAD commands within Trimble. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to need to do, and what we have in this example, is we're going to use a steelwork drawing in a local grid, and we need to move it to the site grid. And the first thing I'm going to do is to key in the coordinates of the site grid intersects. So we just go to CAD, create point, and you can see that we've keyed in four points here using the create point command. Two points required. We know you're going to use another two points just as a check. Now what I'm going to do is drag and drop my CAD data, which is in local site. And we can see when we zoom in, it's not just in local site, it's actually in millimeters as well. So it doesn't take long to realize using the skill bar here that this is obviously in millimeters. And if we actually look at the, just doing some tidying up here, if we look at the values here, we can see that this is in millimeters. If we do import data through the home tab and browse for it, if we import a CAD file, we do have the option to select whether it's in meters or millimeters, and it will scale it on import. I'm showing you how to do it manually here. So we just go to CAD and we choose scale. I'm going to scale up from 0, 0, so the coordinates don't change. And the horizontal scale factor is 0 0.001. That's obviously both for the X and the Y. There's no heights in this file, so I don't need to worry about the vertical. And we hit apply. And what we should now have is the data now in meters, and the coordinates will not have changed because we scaled it from 0, 0. So now what we need to do is we need to then choose from the card toolbar again to move, rotate, scale objects by points. So we open the command, we select the, po the objects that we want to move, which are these objects here, and we choose two grid intersects according to this data here in the local site. We do need to be careful with our snaps here, so we can control our snaps through the snap command at the bottom. I've got it set to intersection, so I carefully select that intersection. And I'm choosing the intersection T1 here. My second one will be this point here. So we want them a good distance apart. And that one is going to be T23. And these are in the local system. If we now double click the middle mouse button, and we're going to zoom in to where the site grid system is, then we've named them sensibly, so we just want to select T1, T23, and we can see the rotation angle that's been calculated, which is 35 degrees, and the scale is one. Uh, we do need to be very careful with scale because it will always just scale the data to fit. So if we hadn't, for instance, initially done the scaling to meters, it would actually have been addressed in this part of the, the transformation as well. And we click OK. The data is now moved. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in to these points here, which were used as a check. And we're just going to check using the inverse command. And we're going to select the grid intersect. In fact, that's A23 that we've got there. So I'm just going to actually turn that layer off. points off and I'm going to make sure I'm getting this grid intersect and we can see that we've got a zero misclosure there. Turn that back on and we could do the same up here. So that's a very simple way to move data um, from a local site grid to a, a, a or from a local grid to a site grid.